Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, January 15th, 2019, and welcome to all of you. A more serious subject today, a little bit about um, what you can expect sometimes when you are on YouTube. I mean, I think YouTube should be a place for fun experiences. It should be a place uh, where you can meet people and potentially meet people in real life, go on things like Hangouts, do your content, but when you do that, unless you're totally isolated by turning off things like comments, um, not going to hangouts, you're going to find yourself eventually becoming involved in various communities on YouTube. I'm involved in the vintage audio rebuilding community, the RV community, the uh, prepping community, the um, doing. A, I, I do a lot of baking. Metal detecting it cuts across a lot of different uh, a lot of different interests in mind moonshining, but when you do that, you're going to be potentially exposing yourself. Well, 99% of the time, I think you're going to have a great experience when you're relating to people, but sometimes people get a little over wrapped up in YouTube and um, things can go off the rails a little bit. And I speak from experience over the years. Um, it's not always one of the things that I consistently hear new people say when they come to YouTube is, wow, I never knew that some of this state negative stuff occurs on uh, YouTube. You know, people getting doxxed out and all kinds of bad things, uh, everything from being pizzas delivered to being swatted by uh, police. There's just there's all kinds of things that could potentially happen. And they kind of recoil a little bit in their surprise. By the way, most of which have happened to me uh, here on on uh, YouTube. So you have to really be prepared, and you have to think twice. And a lot of times, you you will come to points where people may try to uh, shame you or coerce you to do something that you really don't want to do. And that might be doing something like going on a panel. Or going into a private chat where you think everything will always be good in those type of situations, and the, the experience I've had and many others is it's it's not always so. The problem is that over time, when you hang around in communities on YouTube, you'll notice that even in places like my stomping ground, the bottom of YouTube, the community is always fracturing into different segments and then it comes together in different ways that nobody foresees and then it fractures uh, across new lines and unfortunately your information uh, that you share with people pictures photos family things uh, it can be weaponized and used against you by people you may have never dreamed that would ever do such things so Whenever anybody tells you or tries to belittle you and makes you believe that you're some type of second-class citizen if you don't cam up or you don't create content on YouTube, you only have to think about what I'm telling you and what others tell you here today. You have to have the comfort zone of being public or not. And if you don't feel like, if you give into the peer pressure, it's like, well, come on on to this hangout or, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself and, oh, you know, pics of, pics of family members and other kind of uh, stuff. And believe me, it happens. I mean, I'm speaking from experience. And then you can, you can be in the very deep end of things that, things that you never expected to happen or go on so it's just just my way of kind of telling you as far as my circle is concerned people that enjoy YouTube they're not going to care and and they want to be friendly they're not going to be they're not going to care whether you ever reveal anything about yourself or not they're not going to care if you never show yourself on cam they're not going to really care if you never go into a private hangout or even a public hangout it's perfectly fun to chat on the side chat. And for some people that have gotten into private hangouts and even public hangouts and uh, getting into the deeper end of YouTube, they have found out that things can get pretty things can get pretty intense. So just be very aware of that. That 
I'm just saying, and it's, I'm not speaking from anything happening now, but I'm saying just realize that, that alliances break up and alliances reform, and it's the nature of groups that they get, to get together on a regular basis. Somebody may something that, say something that triggers somebody, and then the next thing you know, you're off on some type of Internet fight. I mean, we've seen a lot of that the last week and a half in the communities, and some people have been absolutely... Uh, frightened out of their wits if some things that they've seen on the chats and stuff so be smart if it's not your nature to be uh, a public and it's your nature to be more private then continue to be more private on youtube find your comfort zone and stick to it okay thanks so much for watching and enjoy your tuesday